Hey, Summit County, you're watching Summit Sunrise here on TV8 Summit. I'm Ashley, and I'm here with Doug and Race from Copper Mountain, uh, the dog program over there. Doug, how are you? Doing well, how about yourself? I'm doing very well, thank you. Um, let's start, maybe you could tell me a little bit about your role at Copper Mountain and then talk a little bit about Race and her role at Copper awesome. Mountain. Yeah, I've been at Copper for five seasons on patrol. Uh, one of the lead patrollers there, and uh, I work as a route leader, and then I work with our dog program as well um, for the last three seasons. Cool. Um, so you're one of Reese's handlers. Yes. Um, what does that mean? Um, so for me, that means I basically take care of Race during the week. We have a unique relationship because she's not my dog. She's owned by a great friend of ours and a mentor. And so I pick her up Sunday or Monday. Uh, she comes to work with me during the week and then she goes home to her family on the weekends. Cool. So she really does go to work. She's, she's technically kind of an employee at Copper Mountain. She is. We look at her as a four-legged ski patroller. Um, she is cared for by all of our patrol. It uh, takes a village, so to speak, to raise <laughs> the dog. And um, we definitely try to do that every day. Um, she comes to work with me in the morning. Sits in on morning meeting, rides the chairlift with me to the top, and then based on what they has in store, um, she stands guard and waits um, where we go out and train. And uh, in the event that anything happens, then we head out for a rescue. Cool. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the rescue component, um, but tell me a little bit about how old Race is and maybe what breed she is and why that's good for um, a rescue dog. Yeah. Um, so Race is going to be seven this spring. Um, she's a mix between Golden and a Lab, so she's a great size. Um, we have dogs that are full golden retriever, we have uh, full labs, and any of those sport breeds do really well. Um, a dog that has high drive, um, that wants a reward, whether it's a play reward, and that's the kind of reward we use with our dogs, and it's tug. Um, we look for that in the early stages of picking these dogs, and then we build upon that through training. Okay, um, so when you talk about drive, you're just talking about that drive to maybe go out and search and then you give them that tug of war reward and that's really what they Exactly, what they that like. drive is that dog that just wants to go and go and go. They see their toy, they, um, they smell a person in a hole and the only thing they can think about is digging or barking and alerting is what we call it to get that toy that's in the hole. And to them it's a huge game of hide and seek that at the end they get to have the best thing in the world which to them is tug and play. Right. So let's talk about um, C-RAD. You're wearing the vest. What does C-RAD stand for? Uh, C-RAD is the Colorado Rapid Avalanche Deployment Program. It's a program that encompasses the seven resorts in our area and uh, a few others kind of outliers or uh, satellite places. And it's a program that validates uh, rescue dogs for avalanche training and also works with the handlers and techs as a team to go out and perform a rescue, hopefully. Cool, so we're talking about helicopters. I know that you did a training um, this fall and then another one this winter at Arapaho Basin. Yeah, um, they're great courses. Uh, we try to include uh, all parts of the team, not just the dog and the handler, which is a very unique uh, thing that CRAD does. And you know, those courses are focused on everything from puppy training all the way up to dogs that have been validated and to keep them at the top of their game. So uh, we as locals, I think, sort of understand the dangers of avalanches and, and um, they're just kind of a part of our everyday life, but maybe visitors don't really know so much about um, what goes on out there. Could you just give me, you know, in an actual rescue scenario, what would happen and what race would be doing So what you would be doing? <laughs> um, so how it works is uh, we get a call that there's been an avalanche uh, based on location and weather availability and the helicopter availability. Um, we get a call saying that you know we would like to deploy a team. Uh, every morning at each resort, we call in to the Flight for Life office and uh, give them a team that's available. Um, so we would get picked up by the helicopter. That flight crew, the medical crew in the helicopter gets dropped off at our place. We will get in the helicopter and get dropped off as close as we can to the site. Uh, once we get to the site and make sure that it's safe for us to enter, um, myself, the tech, and the dog start a search. And so what that looks like is I let her off leash and basically tell her to go to work, get her amped up, and she starts gridding the site. And we move in a pattern across the site, and if she picks up on a scent of someone in the snow, um, she'll do a fish hook where she turns really sharp, um, and then she'll start barking or digging at that spot. And it's my job to pick up on that, and then get there and start probing with my avalanche probe to see if I can find that person under the snow. 
Cool. So you guys have a team. I know some other areas have a team. So this would be for an out-of-bounds avalanche somewhere outside the resort, and you guys are ready to go. We are. Cool. What's the most rewarding part about this job for you? Uh, the dogs. I mean, it really becomes a lifestyle. It's not just a job. Um, it takes a lot of work outside of our ski patrol jobs and commitment to the animals. And I think that's the best part is the dogs and the people you work with. Um, folks like John Rell or Jeannie Miracle at Copper Mountain, just to name a few, are amazing mentors and amazing people. And they have this glimmer in their eye that wants to, you want to be as good as they are. You want to work and uh, we're all striving to find that live person. Um, and that's how we train and that's how everyone's attitude has been. It's great. Right, it seems like a really unique relationship. Well, um, where can people find more information if they just want to know a little bit more about Sea Red, perhaps, or the Copper Dog Program, where would they go? Yeah, so the Copper Dog Program, they can stop in at any duty station at Copper Mountain. Um, we have dogs there most days. We also have different fundraisers going on. Uh, we sell hats and t-shirts that benefit uh, some of the dogs as well as other programs. And then uh, folks can contact the Summit County Sheriff's Department, which is currently overseeing the Sea Red Program. Uh, there will be a website coming soon with a lot more information and a lot more ways for people to get involved, support, and learn about this really cool opportunity and program we have here. Awesome. Well, Doug, thank you so much. And Race, thank you so much for hanging out. She's such a good dog. She is. <laughs> thank you. Have a great day. You too. Stay tuned for more Summit Sunrise. We've got a great show coming up for you. Don't go anywhere.